What's up, world? This your boy, your one and only Money Moves with your boy, Mim 2.0. On this YouTube channel, every day we strive for financial excellence so you guys live a better and prosperous financially free tomorrow. As you guys know, on this YouTube channel, we talk a lot about a multitude of different topics from vlogs, the current events, yo city to my city, credit, how to use debt as leverage, how to acquire real estate the non-traditional way, how to acquire different types of loans the, without using traditional banks, money and relationships. We mainly talk about relationships on this YouTube channel because every man knows that who he chooses to have an intimate sexual relationship with will have a high impact on his soon to be financial status. Okay, today and today's the topic of today's video, we're going to be talking about um, most um, American black males are not working jobs. So before we get in this video, I just want to thank everybody who's been rocking with your boy since day one. And I appreciate you guys. You guys have been sticking sticking through this with me since day one, you know. Um, and I appreciate you. And to everybody who is out there grinding, working jobs so you can, uh, you know, get into a business that you want to get into, this video is not for you. And if you guys want to support this YouTube channel, cash out link be in the description below. Let's get straight into the video. So, we have a crisis going on with American black man in, in, in America, you know. Not only are black women a part of this crisis, you know what I'm saying, by not holding, not following the black man's lead, not... Uh, not withholding black male's name, image, ETC. We have a crisis of all different ages of black men who are choosing not to work. You guys are choosing not to work, man. Uh, from Oakland, from Oakland, California to New York City, from New York to Texas, Texas to Chicago. We're seeing more and more instances where black men rather a lot of black men will rather burglarize a home. Will rather pull the on robbery. Will rather rob a bank. Will rather try to do prostit or try to solicit prostitution. Uh, will rather um, try to do the Nino Brown Scarface thing. Think they're gonna, you know, what I'm saying, blow off, blow up selling drugs. Uh, and what's happening is, is that we're seeing a revolving cycle. We're seeing a revolving cycle of incarceration in the black community. You know, we're seeing black man. Young black man, middle aged black man, older black man doing some of the most horrendous and unspeakable things, you know what I'm saying? For the in for the name in the name of money. So what really what really hurts me about this is is that um uh, a lot of guys, a lot of these hood guys, a lot, a lot of these guys around the country, they would much rather Stand around smoking blunts all day, doing all type of drugs, drinking alcohol, and even asking people for change before they go stand on the job for eight hours. I feel like that that's totally backwards. I feel like that um, black men have put themselves to fit a, the stereotype of being lazy. You know what I'm saying? Because if you can stand on the corner or stand at the store and hang out for eight hours a day, then you can go on a job and, you know what I'm saying, stand around and do a little work for eight hours a day. That's that's completely lazy. We're seeing more and more American black men taking the, trying to take the easy way out and end, end, end up losing in life and going out. The hard way. You know, like most people go out the easy way, like you work. A lot of people work, retire. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, maybe start some business, got some assets, some um, 
stocks, bonds, and stuff like that that they're investing in, so they'll pro possibly be millionaires by the time they retire. We're seeing more and more black males with nothing. More and more, all different ages of black men, by the time they become 60, 50 years of age, these guys do not have the willpower to work anymore. So, you know, so if you if you're if you waste 30 years of your life, if you waste 20, 30 years of your life when you should have been working, when you had the energy and now you're 50 years old and you don't have no type of income coming in, you ain't going to property. Social Security probably ain't going to be here when you when when you get 65. You know, what I'm saying a lot of a lot of I'm seeing a lot of black man. A lot of black men are making uh, bad decisions and, and ending up dependent. These are the guys that you see in soup lines. These are the guys that you see stand with people. These are the guys you see who you see that are stand on males stand on section A. You know what I'm saying? Uh, very weak males. Um, these are the guys that you see that are homeless. You know, these guys are the guys that you see who are dependent on and getting mad at their children for not being able to give them $50 to go get a bottle of alcohol. Um, it's completely sad. It's completely sad the way um, society has, how, how, the, how American black men have went from, in the past 60 years, it went from business owners and everything else to just, I just want to hang around listen to rap music, chase girls, ETC, and that's it. But the but but the thing about it is, most of these women are not going to be loyal to you. If you don't have a job, if you don't have a home, if you don't have a bank account, if you don't have different types of things, you know what I'm saying, to, you know what I'm saying, support or provide for a family, what makes you think that this woman is... Um, loyal to you and that's why i say that a lot of black women are academy award winners they win oscars because they act like they're loyal and they act like you know what i'm saying they're loyal to you and stuff and they they won't do nothing but they will why do you think that a woman should save herself for you if you don't have the basic necessities to be a being a functioning adult in society you know what I'm saying? You won't even work a job for one year. Most black men in America do not stay on a job longer than one year. They do not stay on a job longer than six months. You guys do not even, most of them don't even know how to manage money. You know what I'm saying? You go buy you some handguns, you get your check, you go buy you a handgun, some weed, we call it a day. And be like, man, I don't need this job no more, man. I'm about to go get it out the mud. Then, and then a month down the road, we see you in handcuffs going to jail. It's crazy. It's complete madness. It's, cr it's complete craziness of what you guys, the things that you guys put yourselves through. You guys would much rather risk your life to go spend some time in prison and then work a job. You know? Then educate yourself on how to manage money. Then to educate yourself on to how to acquire assets. You know what I'm saying? You see most black most black male, males don't don't really acquire assets, they acquire liabilities. You'll get that beat up uh, Oldsmobile, you know what I'm saying? You in that beat up Oldsmobile thinking that that, that you getting it because you got some beat in the trunk, man. You put, That car ain't making you no money. You ain't going to work in that car. You know what I'm saying? That car is causing you more harm than you not having a car. You're paying more in gas money than you make a week. You guys, you know what I'm saying? A lot of you guys are, I don't know, like, like what's going on with this trend. Like, you guys are listening to too many of these rappers, NBA, your NBA young boys talking about 
uh, 38 baby and uh, rah 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 rah, and I'm I'm, I'm ripped tar from um, the Rugrats, you know what I'm 